Dundalk TV is in Turner Station on Chestnut and there was a fire here the other night and it was a pretty bad fire. So we just got permission to take a peek inside the house from the doorway. I'll see a wheelchair there, but like I've heard Actually, everybody got out safely. Thank God. Today, Dundalk TV has the pleasure of meeting Chris. And Chris actually tried to help, or did help, the woman next door to this fire. So Chris, please tell us what transpired the other night. <laughs> you gotta face this way. Came home and fire was coming out the windows. I just jumped into action. Like, I knew it was somebody in that house next door. That's why. But this is both actually both of her houses. Mm -hmm. And somebody was standing there and whatever they did happened. And, but we got her out. And they put the fire out and nobody was hurt. Well, that's always the best thing that no one was hurt. That's always, that's always a huge blessing. It definitely was a tragic. Definitely tragic. So how old was the woman that you saved? She was like 90 something. 90 easy. something? Okay. 90 something easy. Uh, Miss Dottie. Miss Dottie? She's a librarian. Well, she's a retired librarian, but she's been around it here. I've been around this neighborhood for 28, 29 years. She's been in, she was living in here, and her mom was living here. And then her mom passed, so she moved from here to here. And, uh, so she's been here for quite a while. I don't know if I ever met Miss Body before. I've met a few of the ladies. Wonderful, so many wonderful ladies that work so hard in the community. Great people. So, um, so what did it? What did it make you feel like? It? What? 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 I didn't think about it. I no, no. I mean, after the fact. After the fact. What do you think about fires now? Because I'm out covering them all the time, and I, it, it's just fires are very scary. I've been in a fire. You've been in a fire. Yeah, I lost an animal to a fire. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't think about it when I pulled up and I seen the fire. So all I could think about was making sure she was okay. So, but fires, man, it's nothing. It's nothing to play with. No, not at all. Not at all. You want to avoid them at all costs. Actually, two other women locally within the last, I'll say, maybe two and a half months were injured in fires. One died. Well, well actually one died. The other one was uh, went to the hospital. And to be quite honest with you, um, even though she was alive at the time, uh, I'll put it this way. She's very lucky to be alive if she's still alive. So, so thank you very much, Chris. It's a great story. Greatly appreciate uh, you helping your neighbor out and being such a good guy. Thank you. So Dundalk TV is lucky enough to speak to Miss Dottie who was actually rescued by Chris. So Miss Dottie, please share with our Dundalk TV audience what happened the other night. Well, I was in here and somebody was knocking on the door. <clears throat> and when I asked him who it was, I didn't hear who was talking. When I went to the door, they were told, uh, said, uh, get out, there's a fire. So they helped me down the steps and I went to the end of the alley and the paramedics uh, let me sit there on the stretcher while they were putting the fire out. And that's about it. And uh, they told me that I could uh, stay in the house because the smoke had gotten in. Yes. So I went to stay with my niece overnight and I came back yesterday. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you were able to return home and that you yeah. were able to return home safely, too. So right. it doesn't look like the smoke had gotten to you to, no. to cause any kind of damage um, uh, in your lungs. When it was going on, I didn't even know there was a fire. Yes. And when they let me come back in to get some clothes, I could smell some, you know, smoke, but it wasn't overpowering, you know, so... Well, God was looking out for you, and so he were sure your neighbors. <laughs> yes, they were. Yeah. And, and you were a librarian for many years in the community, from what I heard. In Baltimore County Public Library for over 27 years. And what brand? Uh, what, 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 what well, branch? I started out here part-time in the Turner Station branch, which is no longer there. Mm -hmm. And I worked at uh, Rosedale for 20-some years, and I finished up at Essex. 
Well, it is a pleasure to meet you, and I'm, I'm so so glad that you made it out safely. I'm so glad to. And I'm glad you got some help here, helping you put put everything back together too. Yeah, everybody's been looking out for me, so I'm blessed on both ends. And I greatly appreciate the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.